got a pantsuit coming in hot. Hello, my name is Gianna. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're stepping a little bit out of my comfort zone. I've never done anything like this. As you can see, I have my makeup done. Even that is not something I have experience with, so don't judge me if I didn't blend my eyeshadow correctly. <laughs> it's kind of a botched job. I threw it on for the sake of the video. Don't even have face makeup on. Gotta look presentable because we're picking a dress for the cover of my new vegan Italian cookbook. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know all about it because I talk about it literally every day. I'm gonna be on the cover for this book. It's my third book. The first two, I wasn't on the cover, but this one I am and I'm really nervous. I have a ton of dresses, a bunch of which I ordered from Shopo. If you haven't heard of it, I'll link it below. I got a ton of dresses for the price of like what I would usually pay for one dress. I'm a quality over quantity kind of person so I typically buy something for an event of some kind, fancy things, and I, I'm not like shopping all the time so I'm not balling out on dresses. I have very, I had very few items prior to this. I would rather spend the money and get something that I could have for a really long time that has good quality. I love textures. Fabrics are super important to me, textiles. When I found this company, I was a little nervous. Very impressed with the quality, very impressed with the textures. I'm excited to show you guys these dresses on, even though my hair is a hot mess and I'm sweating profusely. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm gonna start with this dress. I put a little video on TikTok and Instagram of me doing like a quick flash through of some of the dresses. This is the one you guys chose. Ironically, it's the one that I wanted to return. It wasn't necessarily my vibe. So I really stepped out of my comfort zone with these dress options. I kind of went by what I thought would look good with my skin tone, my hair color, and just the overall edginess that I feel that I have. And I feel weird saying that. I don't know, you tell me the vibe that you get from me in the comments. <laughs> I wear like band tees and pajamas all the time. We're gonna put this first dress on, dress on. I've got some shoe options that you cannot see. Let me give you a close up of the dress. Okay, so this is the detail. Again, this is a dress from Shopo. The quality is really good. It's a beautiful dress. These are my shoe options that I have lined up. I have these pumps that I got in Italy like 10 years ago, 12 years ago. And then I've got some other shoes in here and of course my boots. And here are the other dress options that we'll get to. Dress number one is this one. It's a beautiful cut, very feminine, very flattering. This is a mirror view. Here's the length. It's got a little slit in the side. So this is dress number one. These are my shoe options. Sh option. <laughs> I got these shoes from Lulu's. They are vegan. They aren't the quality that I honestly was looking for, but I couldn't return them because of COVID. This really is a beautiful dress. The length is perfect. It's flattering. I like the cut of it. The material is great. And it's really nice watching it in this video. There's something about it that's kind of whimsical, but I don't know, I'm just not in love with it. Dress number one, let me know what you think. I'm gonna move on to dress number two. Will be this guy. Right off the bat, texture and vibe of this one. Also really nice. This waistline is really flattering for me personally because I have a really small waist. I have like an hourglass situation going on. And then these sleeves are always really flattering. The back is my favorite part of this dress. So let's put it on. Okay, so this is dress number two. This is more my speed. I like that it's feminine. I like that it adds the cinched waist, but it's also a good length where it's not, you know, like a crotch shot kind of dress. No problem with that, but for the cover of the book, I have to keep it classy. <laughs> the back of this dress is really cute. I don't have a bra on because I have <laughs> lack of 
lack of boobage going on in this region. I love this color. I think it's very flattering on me. My hair is up. I guess I could let it down. Wow. Oof. What is going on with the top of my hair head? All right. <laughs> so this is with hair down. Has like a renaissance vibe. And now with this dress, shoe options, I kind of wanted to get a little bit different. I feel like I could do combat boots or wedges with this. Might be hard to see, maybe you can help me decide. But that is option number two. <laughs> what is wrong with my hands? That's option number two. Could go either way with the shoes in my opinion. Also could do my hair <laughs> better. The one thing I have to say about this dress, maybe it's just me, I don't know. I don't like, I feel like it's, I don't have boob happening. So I feel like when I move, it just looks like a saggy. Let me know if that's weird. Oh, I just got an idea. What if sock with the heel? Is that weird? Never done these things. You tell me. We're gonna move on to dress romper dress. Number three. This one might be my favorite. I don't know, I just feel like the color looks nice on me. I forgot the close-up texture situation. I like the material of this one. It's light. It's definitely more breathable than the first dress. I will tell you that. The first dress is a slightly different material and has a different slip underneath. So I feel like I noticed myself, especially with the sleeves, I was sweating more and I know that I'm nervous, but it was a different kind of sweat. It was more of just like a get me out of here kind of sweat. Whereas this dress, I have more flow. The materials are different. I noticed that the cross, um, whatever this is, just is more flattering on me. My camera died. Four. <laughs> All right, this is the fourth dress. I love the color of this dress. I know it's a little bit more fancy, formal, compared to the other dresses that I've tried on, but I already have a vision for the cover of the book and I feel like I could make this work and I could dress it down. This is something where, again, I would probably wear this with combat boots. Side note, this is not a dress from Chopo. I got this about five years ago from Express. Clearance. It was very cheap. Let's try a hat. Ooh. Ooh. I've worn this dress in the past with a leather jacket. It's summertime. That's not going to happen. I'm starting to feel like Ross from the episode of Friends with the Leather Pants. So getting on this dress was really hard. I don't think I want to throw a leather jacket on top of that. But here's option number four with a hat. Maybe without. I'm already over this. This is why I just don't. Moving on to something a little bit different. We have a baby blue romper. This is a color that I really like. This is from Shopo. And I really like the texture of this one. It's very light. Book cover or not, I'm just excited about this. The brand is Sweet Pot, but I got it from Shopo and it has like the frill on the top and I love that it's a romper because again, I'm not used to wearing dresses, stepping out of my comfort zone here. So I'm gonna pop this baby on. So we're on number five. I love this, it's so comfortable. I like that it's a romper, which I already said. This is something that is casual. I could rock it just like this. I will say, I probably would take this in myself, add a couple stitches here because it feels a little boxy, but if I pop in a couple stitches, then I have like some kind of shape. <laughs> this outfit, I think, could also look cute with this hat. Maybe not for the cover of the book, but as an overall outfit, I think so. This is something I would probably wear just like whenever, which I really like, because I like that I can get so much more use out of this. I am very conscious of that when I buy stuff, whereas the other stuff is more, um, I have to 
I can't just like wear those things going grocery shopping, at least I wouldn't. Maybe the third dress, but definitely not the first and, and uh, the fuchsia one, the last one that I tried on. So here's this guy, can get a little bit crazy. <laughs> and wear this guy with this. Obviously I would have to take the other jewelry off. Maybe I can make it work, who knows. By the way, when I was taking off the other dress, I noticed I have a very long armpit hair. <laughs> Don't you love that? Ooh, now this is, now this I can get down with. Maybe not for the cover of the book, but I like this one. This is something I would wear like all the time. So we're just gonna move on. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six. This is also one of my favorites. This is now dress outfit number six. Yes. I really like the way this color looks on me. This dress is from Chopo. It's a different brand, but it's from Chopo. And it's cute, it's summery. I'm really leaning towards this as my number one choice. It could go with a lot of the shoe options that I have. I kind of don't care because I like the dress so much. I will say the material is not my favorite. It's very light, it's very comfortable, it's very breezy, which is great for summer. I, it's not like what I expected. I don't know if this can like, it just seems like not what I expected, <laughs> but I don't care because I love the dress and I love how comfortable it is and flowy and I don't have to wear a bra. Really with any of these, maybe you could tell me otherwise. I think it's flattering overall for having a small chest. I have some funkiness going on here. Not mocking myself, but it doesn't look so good with certain fits and I just try to pick outfits and dresses and things that fit my body better. So I really like this one. It's flattering, it's comfortable, it's fun, and this is number six. That pantsuit coming in hot. All right, so this is the pantsuit. I love this. I wore this for my senior exhibition. I think it's really comfortable. I think it's really flattering. I like the back of it. I would probably wear something like this for like a lot of things. I got it from Aritzia about 2017. So whatever that is, three years ago, math. The shoes that I would wear with this are a little funkier. These guys, they are vintage Jeffrey Campbell and I actually got them at like TJ Maxx. Maybe they're not vintage, maybe I'm lying. Nordstrom Rack, there you go. And they were actually $12. <laughs> so it says $33.24, but they were also on sale. So I got them for like $12. <laughs> and I would probably wear them with this outfit. I'll show you. Really glad I shaved my toes for this video. Last but not least, I have this hot mess. Lovely color, but literally a mess. <laughs> the final dress. I got this dress also for my senior exhibition. It's from Aritzia, again, the wrap situation is very flattering on me, very feminine. I like the way it fits my armpit region. <laughs> and the color I think is really flattering. The last two things are more in my comfort zone, especially in terms of color. I'm used to wearing more earth tones, neutrals, or black. And I don't know, I just really like this. I feel like it's something that you can wear in a variety of ways and could also be a great option for the cover of the book and it has pockets. The pantsuit romper thing had pockets too. I know this is very wrinkled. This is the final dress. It's a big ass clip, but whatever. This I could wear with the green wedges. I could also wear it with the Jeffrey Campbell clog things I just showed you from Nordstrom Rack. I don't know, I have options. I really like this one though. I know this was kind of a lengthy video, but let me know below which one you like the best. And if there's like a cross situation that you would think would have been best for 
Example, maybe this dress would look better with a different pair of shoes or with a hat or no hat at all or certain jewelry, let me know. I kind of threw this guy in there for sake of I just love it. I don't know if I'd actually wear it for the cover of the book, but again, you tell me. I like having you guys involved in this new book. It helps me, especially because I get so invested in every little detail from choosing pictures to typography to this that it kind of helps to have the second opinion. And I don't have a lot of girlfriends, so you can be my girlfriend and help me decide. <laughs> I'll keep you posted and I'll take you guys on the photo shoot for that as well. So thank you so much for watching. Comment below which one you like the most. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that cool stuff. I have a lot of other product review, review type things on my channel. And if you'd like to see more stuff like this, let me know. And thank you, have a nice day. Just ended this video, signed off, left the choice up to you. I decided, <laughs> and I think it's gonna be this dress, the last one, I really like it. And as I signed off, I just realized, I think this is the one, especially because I wanna keep the cover lighter and floral print might not work. So I'm curious what you think. I just think it looks really flattering and nice and the length is good and I like it with my hair like this and my makeup the way that it is. This whole vibe that's happening, I just really like and it feels more my speed. I'm probably gonna return a lot of what I tried on but I'll wait for you guys to watch this video to see what you think. Sorry. <laughs> Still curious what you what you have to say though, um, but thank you anyway. <laughs> That's it. Now we're done.